Hey, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to Yoga with Dave again. Uh, it's a Thursday afternoon, it's 2.30, um, and whether you're watching it live, welcome. If you're watching it on Catch Up, then uh, well done for setting that intention and getting on to all of the bank of videos that are on uh, the Virtual Village Hall Royal Voluntary Service Facebook page. There's so much resource there for you that you can just tap in at any time, um, and I really like that. There's some uh, amazing amount of variety on there to keep you occupied through the week. Um, but if you're here now live, then then welcome as well. You you made it this far, and you know, I probably say this every single week, but the hardest thing about yoga probably is making it onto your mat. And then once you make it onto the mat, then everything is just plain sailing, you know? We just move and we breathe together. And then 45 minutes later, the idea is that we raise our energy up, and then we feel so much better about ourselves physically, mentally, emotionally, whatever level you're looking for. You know, yoga always seems to deliver. It's like when you go out for a walk or, you know, you go out on your bike or you go and see some friends. It's kind of like a connection. So there's the connection with the with the breath. There's a connection with the physical body. Maybe you feel a connection a little bit deeper as well. I remember I was talking last week about yoga being the calming of the fluctuations of the mind. You know, we spend maybe too much time here and we want to get in here. And yoga is this kind of ancient tradition, 5,000 years old probably, where maybe older than that, you know, where, where, where we kind of pick all of these rich teachings from the past and it's just the golden chain of teachings. And then there's this guy who suddenly appears in Leicester who goes, I could probably pick some of those things as well. Um, so that's all I'm doing. I'm just, uh, I'm just passing on the teachings and uh, you'll probably pass those on as you go through your life as well. Even if you don't become a teacher, you know, you just might say, oh, I did this yoga class the other day, try this. Or someone might say, I've been suffering terribly from anxiety or I'm feeling really low at the moment and you'll probably say I do yoga and then you just prick the curiosity of that person and then they'll go oh you know yoga that's about flexibility isn't it I'm not very flexible I'm not very fit when you'll be able to tell them actually no it's not about that it's about this and then you can give them your wealth of knowledge and that's what I love um, about yoga in general, that it's, it's different things for different people and it can kind of help us on our way in our path and whatever we're navigating, even if we're having these massive highs or we're having these really low lows, yoga can always sit here in the middle and we can always come back to that practice. So that's what we should probably do, shouldn't we? I mean, this is yoga, chatting about it, isn't it? Um, it's a bit one-dimensional, um, but uh, let's do some physical yoga. Um, what I thought we'd do today is I would thought we would uh, do like a beginner's level class. Um, and we've been doing that for like, I guess some of the stuff that I do, you would class as pure beginner's level, but then we build on postures as well. But if I think all the way back to January where I did my first class, I think it was January, um, you know, we, we did some really kind of like beginner stuff. And I think sometimes coming back to that and looking at some alignment points and just moving quite slowly, um, I think that that could be helpful. So let's do a little bit of that. So find a comfortable seat on your mat. I'm just gonna move a little bit. I'm gonna make sure that my camera's set up. Okay, unfortunately I'm not at the space to breathe today. I'm at home. Um, I've been down to Wales, so I was rushing around a little bit today. Um, <clears throat> so make sure you're you're comfortable. And let's do this. Let's lie down on the back. Before you do that, if you've got a block or a book, that can be useful. And we'll probably use that later on just to sit on, but you don't need it. Let's lie down on our backs. Ugh, that feels good. And then once you arrive here, just have a little wriggle around. You know, keep, keep your feet about hip width apart or maybe a little bit wider. Just let the feet fall open and then the palms face up. And then just simply breathe in. You don't have to do anything. Well, breathe. <laughs> don't hold your breath. And then just feel, you know, the body melting down into the floor. And try and keep this position really natural. So you're not doing anything. And then just work out what's going on for you. So maybe you go right to the tips of your toes. And then work your way up through the feet the ankles, the calves, the shins, up to the knees and the thighs, backs of the thighs, into the hips, the stomach, the lower back, the chest, the upper back, the mid back, the shoulders. Work your way down the arms, right to the tips of your fingers, all the way back up again, and then into the neck, the jaw, and then the crown of the head. 
And then just pay a little bit of attention to your breath. Notice how the breath feels. And then maybe just begin to deepen the breath just a little bit. So as you inhale, you feel the belly expand. And then as you exhale, you feel the belly fall back towards the spine. And we'll do a few things down here on our back, just to bring some awareness into the breath. And let's do this first of all. If your feet are quite wide like mine, to bring them a little bit closer. And then as you lie here, maybe bring the arms just a little bit closer to the side. Have a little wriggle around through the shoulders. And then with the hands, you can lift the hands up and bring the hands underneath the lower spine so the palms are down. And then you should quite naturally feel that kind of natural curvature of the lumbar spine. So my hands just slip underneath. So this is how my spine naturally just lies on the floor. It's not a good thing. It's not a bad thing, you know. So then see if you can release the hands. And then when you take the next inhale, see if you can flatten the full length of the spine down to the floor. And then take an inhale. And then just let that spine just come back to normal position or natural position, there's no normal. Inhale, press the spine down. And then exhale. You just come back to that natural position and just do that a few times. So as you inhale, the spine presses down and you feel the kind of like the hip bones, they, they rotate back towards you. So then you're pressing the spine down into the floor. So it's this little pelvic rock. And then what you might feel is this little engagement just at the belly, the navel center. So you inhale and pressing the spine down. And then as you exhale, you're just coming back to that normal. So you think about the pelvis does this, backwards and then forwards, backwards and then forwards. Just to get a little bit of core engagement here. And this probably isn't a trajectory of where we're going to go. Don't worry, I'm not going to suddenly then go, now you've got your core engagement. Now we're going to work really hard into the core. We're not going to do that, don't worry. We'll maybe do a little bit, but nothing too strenuous. Nice. Do that a couple more times. Pressing the spine down into the floor, just on the breath. And then here's the last one. Inhale, press the spine down. And then exhale, just come back to that normal position or natural position. All right. And then we'll do one more thing down here with the breath. We're going to do three-part breath, and I can't remember. I don't think we did do this on Thursday, but I've certainly been doing it in some of my other classes this week. This is a beautiful breath. What it does, it allows us to really fully embody the breath. So a lot of us will breathe quite shallowly, and we don't use the full range of uh, capacity in our lungs, so this really helps. So bring the hands onto the belly, palms are down, and then just take nice deep inhales into the belly. And then full exhales. You just carry on like that. Nice deep inhale. You feel the belly expand. Really expand the belly out into the hands like a big Buddha belly. Make the belly as big as you can. Oh, yeah, that's big. <laughs> exhale, let it go. Don't be ashamed of your belly. Really push it out. Inhale. And exhale. And even now, just breathe in and concentrate into the belly area. We can already begin to feel how long the inhale is and then how long the exhale is. Now, the exhale, see if you can push a little bit more air out. You get to the end and you think, that's it, my lungs are empty. And there's probably a little bit more air. Squeeze it out. And then do that two or three more times. So inhaling into the belly, exhale into the belly. And I think we did speak about the parasympathetic nervous system last week. So when we use a longer exhale, then we just begin to calm everything down. We get into the left side of the brain and everything begins just to relax a little bit more. So we probably want to spend more time on the exhale than the inhale. All right. It's really beautiful work so far. Now what you're going to do, you're going to bring the hands just onto the ribs. So the ear, just there, and then the hands and... Well, the elbows are just relaxed into the floor. 
And then you can do all this with your eyes closed, by the way, or you've just got a soft gaze. So now you're gonna take, inhale 50% into the belly of your breath. And then pause, and then take another 50% and breathe right into your hands, into the ribs. And then exhale, let it go. So now you can really feel that beginning to work with the depth. So do that again, inhale 50% into the belly. Pause. And then inhale the next 50% right into the ribs. Feel the hands expand. And then exhale it all go. So you should already feel a difference here. This is a lot deeper, the breath. Inhale into the belly. And then exhale, sorry, then take the next inhale into the hands, into the side of the ribs. And then exhale, let it go. See again if you can really elongate the exhale. And then do three more like that in your own time. There's always a little gap in between the two 50%. And then a full exhale. And I'm just working on my final one then. So 50%, pause, and the next half into my ribs, and then let it all go. Beautiful. All right, so final part of this three bark breath. Bring the hands now onto the sternum. So they're right upon the upper chest. Make sure you're relaxed here. So now I guess you know what we're going to do. We're going to do a third into the belly pause. Third into the ribs, pause, and then we're going to do a third, and we're going to breathe right up into the upper chest. When you're doing this, think about breathing into the upper back. It can really help you locate the breath. This is the hardest area to bring the breath into. So try and work with that relaxed breath. Try not to strain, and you're going to amaze yourself how deeply you can breathe. All right, so let's do this. Hands on the chest. Inhale into the belly. Pause. Inhale into the ribs. Pause. And then inhale right up to the upper chest, the upper back. And then exhale, let it go. Inhale, belly. Pause. Inhale, ribs. Pause. And then inhale into the chest. Breathe into your hands. And exhale, let it go. And feel how deeply you can breathe here. A few more rounds like this. Make sure you relax through the face. Do two more in your own time. Beautiful. When you come to the end of that, that last, sorry, that last long exhale, just bring the hands down just by the side of the body. And then just have a little wriggle around through the hips and the shoulders and come back to a nice steady rhythm and just see if you can tap in with any changes. How do you feel? Now you know how deeply you can breathe. You know, that three-part breath, that's an amazing breath to do when you're feeling overwhelmed, you're feeling anxious. Lie on the floor and just do that. And you've got to do, well, I don't know, five, ten rounds of breath. And you will change the way that you feel. Honestly, everything's in the breath. You know, it's the infinite pharmacy within. It's like everything we need to access is in the body. We don't need to kind of look outside ourselves for most things. Especially our happiness, you know. Connection, of course, that's really important. And friendship, of course, it's important. And self-love is important. And that's why... Inside us, we hold the key, not outside. All right, from here, bend one knee in and then bend the other knee in, just in towards the belly, and then just give the spine a little rock out. Nice, very relaxed 
start to the class today. And again, that doesn't mean that we're suddenly going to go really energetic. We're going to keep it very chilled out. So just rocking the hips from side to side. Maybe you want to open the knees out a little bit. That can feel good. Whatever feels good for you. Maybe wiggle out through the toes. Give the legs a little shake. Think about the shoulders and make sure the shoulder girdle, so the whole breadth of the shoulders are relaxed in the floor. So you're not like, you're not here. Everything's relaxed now. And then your choice. We're going to come to a seated position. So if you do want to work a little bit more energetically and you like to roll up and down the spine, you can bring the hands behind the thighs and then you can roll on the spine a few times or just push to one side. I'm going to do a little bit of spinal rolling because it just energizes me and helps tone the spine and keeps the energy moving. So you're doing this or you're just moving to one side. Nice. If you're on your side, push yourself to a seated position and then we'll all meet here. All right, okay. So come with your legs crossed. I'm just gonna check. Oh, good afternoon to Debs and Eileen and Sue. Um, glad you guys could join me. All right, so come here just with your legs crossed. And then we're just gonna move a little bit through the hips. We're gonna move a little bit through the spine. So bring the hands on the knees. Inhale the chest forward and then exhale around. So they're called Sufi grind or Sufi circles. Inhale forward and then exhale around. And just doesn't matter which way you're going. Inhale and then exhale. Inhale and exhale. Just nice big circular movements. And if you are working into your spine and you're like, whoa, you know, my spine's a little bit tight today. My hips feel tight. Then maybe you're here. That's good. You know, you just... Come into your own unique version of each pose. You match your body where it is today, and it's probably feeling different today. You know, it's probably uh, one of the first colder days we've had for some time. And the body reacts very differently to temperatures and seasons. Emotionally, you probably feel different in different seasons. Nice. Come back the other way when you're ready. Inhale forward and exhale out. See if you can deepen the breath just a little bit. I work quite powerfully with my breath because, uh, as you may have guessed, I believe that the breath is the key to a lot of amazing things. Inhaling and exhaling. Inhaling and exhaling. Nice. Beautiful. Inhale, come all the way back to centre. And then exhale, let it go. Nice. So remember in Spinal Care Week, we, we, we worked a lot into the spine. So we're going to do some of those things today as well. So you might remember, we brought our hands onto a front shin. We inhale, we brought the chest forward. So the heart center lifts and then exhale you around into the spine. So it's that movement. It's not a big movement. It's just, that again, the pelvis rocking backwards and forwards. So I'll show you from the side. So this is your inhale and then this is your exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. All right, so we'll do that together, not for too long. Make sure you're comfortable. Hands onto the front shin, shoulders are relaxed. Inhale forward, exhale back. Try to keep the head still. Yeah, obviously the head moves, but you're not doing this. Don't move the head like this. Keep the head still and the chin is just level with the floor. Beautiful. And again, you know, you just match this pose to how you're feeling today. You might want to go faster, you might want to go slower, but this is a lower spinal flex. And this is about bringing energy into the body. Physically, it's amazing for the spine because you're moving into the lumbar spine. And this is an area where we can carry a lot of tension. And I firmly believe that a lot of these postures are available to all comers, you know, beginners or experienced yogis, they can serve us so well. It doesn't have to be, you know, this super expansive, spectacular practice. We're just moving the body. Nice. Inhale, bring the chest forward, lengthen the spine. Pause the breath here, pull the belly up and in. 
So you squeeze right at the navel center, squeeze the navel in towards the spine. And then exhale, let it go. Nice. And then we're just going to work into the shoulders now. So we're going to bring the hands onto the knees, we're going to inhale up and exhale down. In and out through the nose if you can. And as you exhale, really drop the shoulder blades down the back. Check out what's going on in the face and the jaw. Try not to crunch into the face and, you know, everything tightens up. Make sure everything's loose, a little smile can help. It really helps in yoga to keep an open mind and just be open to all possibilities. Nice. Inhale, bring the shoulders up. Exhale, bring them down. Beautiful. And then it'd be really nice to do a twist now because we've kind of moved the energy up. We've flexed the spine backwards and forwards. We've spent a long time on our backs. So a little twist can help. Now this pose is called Half Lord of the Fishies pose. What a beautiful name. All right. So you're going to keep the left knee or the left leg crossed. So the right leg you're going to bring out in front. This left foot, see if you can bring it kind of right back to uh, your left sit, sit, sit bone. So it's like tucked right under. Then you're going to bring the right foot and you're just going to cross it over the left knee. And try and keep this right foot flat on the floor. So you don't want it to be here. If this feels too much, you can always lengthen out the left leg. So you're here. You know, if you're very tight in the hips or if you're tight in the hips and it doesn't feel right, if you find that like one of your sit bones lifts up, then keep a straight leg so you're probably going to be here or you're going to have a straight leg all right bring the right hand behind so the right hand supports you press into the, the fingers or right into the palm of the hand so you've got loads of length in the spine so you're not sitting back and you're not kind of like crunch forward take an inhale lift up the left arm and then you're going to twist over to the right and then wrap the left arm around the right knee so you're here you already feel the twist inhale to lengthen and then exhale, just see if you can move the right knee into the center line, pressing into the right arm, and then twist into the right hand side. Think about the right foot, make sure all four corners of the feet are pressed into the floor. Nice, take a nice deep inhale. And a full exhale. Deep inhale. And a full exhale. One more like that, your deepest inhale and your fullest exhale. Come all the way back to center and then do, do this little counter twist. Bring the hands over to the left, drop the head down and then just do this counter twist into the inside. Nice, come back to center. You know where you're gonna go, across the legs. And then this time bring the right foot right against the left sit, sit bone and then you can bring the left foot over the knee. And then again, try and find the four corners of the feet pressing down into the floor. That really helps you do, to find that nice stability through the sit bones and everything's relaxed on the floor. Remember, you can always lengthen out the right leg if you want to do that. Bring the left hand behind. I'm right upon my fingertips because I like to have this really tall spine, but your arms might be a bit longer than mine. Maybe I've got short arms. I don't know. <laughs> Why are you on your fingertips, Dave? I don't know. I might have short arms, probably. All right, inhale the right arm up. I just had that thought after 49 years of life. And then exhale, twist over to the left, wrap the right arm around the left knee. You kind of just pull the left knee in by lumping the spine and then exhale, twist in the vertebra. Nice. Inhale to find length. And then exhale into your twist. A little bit harder sometimes to breathe in twists. But see if you can twist on the mid and the upper and the lower spine. Nice deep inhales. Full exhales. One more like that. Deep inhale. Full exhale. And then come all the way back to the center and do that nice, delicious little counter twist to the right. Maybe drop the head down, bend into the elbows. Oh, bring it out. Beautiful. Nice. Really nice work. And then from here, 
It's going to bring the legs so they're crossed again. And then you're going to take an inhale and sweep the arms up. And then as you exhale, just follow the arms forward. So you come down really slowly. And then keep the heart centered lifted. So we're not looking to round into the spine just yet. We'll just rock a little bit from side to side. Head could be loose though, but you kind of feel that you're shining the heart towards the sky a little bit here. It's probably not the sky, but it's, you, you get the idea. You're not um, collapsing the chest down to the floor. And then if the lumbar spine feels good, and we've done a little bit work in there already, just begin to lower the forearms down to the floor. And then you can round into the spine, or you might want to stay up a little bit higher. The jaw is beautiful and loose. Yeah. Let it all go. Breathe deeply. Then a little bit of movement here can feel good. Rocking from side to side. And then press into the hands and then come all the way back up. I don't know about you guys, but I'm really enjoying this class. Just simple movements, isn't it? Simple, beautiful movements, you know, just to match your body today. That's a powerful thing. So we'll come on to all fours. I'm probably getting too excited, but that's yoga. <laughs> move this chair back a little bit. Probably move that back a little bit more. All right, okay. So come on to all fours. And then make sure the knees are stacked right underneath the hips. Some nice cat and cows. So with our cat and cows, spread out through the fingers and then make sure the arms are nice and straight. There's no bend in the elbow, so you don't want to be here. You want to be nice and straight. Inhale, bring the head and the heart up. So you drop the belly as you do that and then exhale round into the spine. Inhale forward. Exhale round. You've probably done this pose hundreds of times before, but if you're new to it, it's cat and cow. Inhale, we drop the belly down, head and the heart lift, and then exhale around the spine. Just get into a nice steady rhythm. Work with the breath. Three more rounds. And then a nice deep inhale, come back to center. And then a full exhale. Beautiful, nice. Into child's pose, just stretching the spine now. Bring the knees nice and wide, or as wide as feels good for you. Big toes come together. You can sit bones back onto the heels and then stretch your arms out. And if you find that the head floats and you're, you're kind of more here, and you can't get everything down, then just stack the head on the hands or the fists, whatever works for you. And then just breathe it out. Breathe down the full length of the spine. You can feel this stretch into the spine, maybe into the outer hips. Heart centers melting down to the floor. And sometimes we feel this tension in the spine and we just need a little bit of child's pose. We just need to feel the stretch all the way down the spine. Walk the hands over to the right and then just feel the stretch down the left hand side. Make sure the head is supported. Nice. And then walk the hands over to the centre, to the left and then stretch down the right. And then gently walk the hands all the way back to center. And then have the arms so they're about, I don't know, shoulder width apart. You can see mine are lined up. And then just walk the hands and the arms forward and then come to lie down on your belly, nice and gently. And then we're going to come into sphinx pose. So again, another stretch into the spine. You see my elbows and my shoulders are kind of like stacked under each other. 
if this feels too much for you, then you know you can always walk the hands forward so you can be more here. But you feel this in the lumbar spine, lower spine. Feet can be wide, they can be about hip width apart. And then press into the feet. You feel this engagement in the thighs. And then I like to claw into my hands and I drag the mat back, or I imagine dragging the mat back. And then that lifts up the chest. You don't have to do this weird thing with your foot that I'm doing. It's only because I've got cramp in the top of my foot. <laughs> but if you've got cramp in the top of your foot, do this weird thing with it. <laughs> Soften the jaw. Have a little laugh if you want. <laughs> oh, a little bit of cramp in the foot's always good. And then breathe deeply into the lumbar spine. And then if you wanted to intensify this anymore, you can always do this. You can bend into the knees and then the soles to the feet. You can bring the soles of the feet together. You can do it this way. You can have them hip width apart. So you might feel a little bit more press into the forearms. And then breathe deeply here. This is so good for the lumbar spine. It's so good for the spine itself. You know, we will strengthen the spine here. It's amazing. If you do yin yoga, we'll probably hold poses like this for about five minutes. We won't do that today. But this is a beautiful stretch into the spine. Take one more deep inhale. And then as you exhale, bring everything down onto the floor. And then just look here to your right hand side. Look to the right. And then bring the right knee in line with the right hip. So there's a little crawling motion. And then feel the release through the lumbar spine, through the entire back body, chain of the back. Beautiful. Slowly bring that right leg back to meet the left. And then you've got to swap it out. Look to the other side, left knee in line with the left hip. And then you might find that you get this nice kind of like stretch into the right thigh. So a lot of the weight goes into the right thigh. So it's a little bit of a massage there. Nice. And then left leg meets the right. And then from here, bring the hands underneath the shoulders, spread out through the fingers and tuck the toes under. Press all the way back to this tabletop position. Then make sure you position nicely on your mat. We've, we've kind of worked to this point now where the body should feel not warmed up into the sense of there's a lot of heat in the body, but you've worked into you know the spine, we've worked into the hips, we've done some shoulder work. There's a lot of, there's a lot's gone on here. So we're set up beautifully for a few rounds of sun salutations. So tuck the toes under, lift the hips, and come into your first downward facing dog. And even though it's quite late in the class, feel free still just to bend into one knee, bend into the other. And the head be nice and loose. You see how generous I keep the bend in my knees, just so I can find length in the spine. And then look between the hands and just step to the top of the mat, doing tiny little steps where you can right up onto the fingertips and then step it up really, really slowly. And then keep this really big bend in your knees. Look how much I'm going to bend into my knees. And then just dangle down here. Maybe the hands are on the floor. You can grab onto opposite elbows. And then again, make it a little bit somewhat dynamic where you just move from side to side. <sighs> nice. And then from here, bend a bit deeper into the knees. Bring the hands onto the hips. And then bend into the knees and come all the way up to stand. And then we find ourselves in the standing position. Stay where you are at the top of your mat. Line your feet up with the long edges of your mat. And you come into your Tadasana, your mountain pose. Nice. So sun salutation eight. And we'll probably do two or three rounds. Let's see how we get on. So remember with your sun salutations, move with the breath. You know, so every movement has got this breath attached to it. It's a beautiful thing to do. All right. So let's do this. Bring the hands to heart center if they're not there already. Take an inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, fold in low. Nice. Inhale to lengthen the spine. So this is your halfway lift. Come as high as feels good for you. Exhale, hands down. Step one foot back. Then step the other foot back. And then take this beautiful deep inhale and lengthen into your plank. Nice. As you exhale, lower to the floor. All the way down. Coming down nice and slow if you can. Press the tops of the feet into the ball. Roll the shoulder blades back into your cobra. Nice. And then exhale... 
Tuck the toes and then lift the hips down and facing dog. Nice. A few breaths here. Deep inhale. Full exhale. A deep inhale. And a full exhale. Nice. Bend the knees into the hips, slot between the hands. Come right up onto your toes and then either walk up like we did on the first or just step the feet up. Take an inhale to lengthen the spine. Take a full exhale to fold in low. And then inhale, sweep the arms back up. And then exhale, bring the hands to heart centre. Nice. And then thinking about that, so that's one round. You know when we sweep the arms up and down, I usually go nice and wide. I'm not doing that today because I don't have a huge amount of room. Because sometimes, you know, you, you, you'll swallow dive down, so you're here. And then this is the movement. And then you come back up and then this is the movement. And especially if you suffer from any tension in the lower spine, and if you suffer from sciatica, so you feel it kind of like down the sides of the legs, then a nice and wide is good for you. It's only because I'm a little bit constricted and I want to knock my pictures off the wall. <laughs> All right. Inhale up. Exhale, dive in low. Beautiful breath. Inhale to lengthen. Maybe a little bend in the knees. I come up really high. Well, not really high, but I bring my hands on the outside of my knees. We talked about this last week because then I can roll my shoulder blades back and I lengthen my spine as much as feels good for me. Exhale, hands down. Step one foot back. Step the other foot back. Inhale to lengthen here. Let's hold it. <laughs> Two more breaths. Nice deep inhale. Full exhale. Think about pressing in the out edge of the feet so you, this doesn't happen. And this is easier, yeah? When you bring the bum up, yeah, I can hang out here for ages. This is a little bit harder. On your next exhale, lower to the floor. And again, keep the elbows tucked really close. So look at your elbow creases. They point, point forward and then lower all the way to the floor. Nice. Press the tops of the feet into the board. Inhale, come into your cobra. And then exhale, lift the hips down, facing dog. Nice. Deep inhale. Full exhale. One more like that. Deep inhale. And a full exhale. I bend the knees into the hips. Gaze in between the hands. Come right up onto the toes. And then propel yourself forward. Inhale to lengthen, exhale to fold, and then inhale, come all the way up to stand, and then exhale, hands to heart centre. Propel. <laughs> I like that. Propel yourself forward. I'm going to use it more. One more. Inhale up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, hands down. Step one foot back, then the other. Inhale here to lengthen, and then exhale to lower. Inhale, come into your cobra. Exhale, tuck the toes under. Down, facing dog. Nice. Deep inhale. Full exhale. A deep inhale. And a full exhale. Beautiful. Bend the knees into the hips, up between the hands. And then step to the top of your mat, one foot, then the other. Inhale to lengthen the spine. Exhale to fold in low. Inhale, come all the way up to stand. And then exhale, hands to heart centre. Nice. Pause here, hands at heart centre. Breathe deeply. Beautiful. Let's transition to the floor. So inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale to fold, final time. Inhale to lengthen the spine. Exhale, hands down. Step one foot back. Step the other foot back. And then just simply drop the knees down onto your mat. And then just come to sit onto your heels. If this feels good, you can always be cross-legged here if this feels too much for you. And then just breathe here. Lengthen the spine, shoulders are relaxed. Eyes are closed or the gaze is nice and soft and then just check in with yourself. How are you doing? Ask yourself that question. How are you doing? Beautiful. If the eyes are closed, slowly come with the eyes open and then just roll over onto one hip. Bring the legs out and then come to lie back down on your mat where we started the class. Come down whatever way you want. I'm just going to grab around my knees and then I'm going to 
hug everything in, and then this brings that little bit of synergy back from the start to the end, maybe rocking it out. Beautiful. And then from here, let's have a really nice, luscious Sebastiana today. So fast enough. I'm going to grab my blanket. So if you guys want to grab a blanket, then please do that. A blanket can feel really nice in Shavasana. And sometimes we don't get, give ourselves long enough. So we're going to give ourselves three or four minutes today. Put some socks on. Let the feet just fall open. And then the arms just face up. Have a little wriggle around. Make yourself probably 10% more comfortable than you already are. And then just commit to this stillness. Let all of the magic integrate into the body. And then just very gently now, just in your own time, bring a little bit of movement back into the body, maybe deepen the breath. And then from here, inhale the arms up into the air. Exhale, let them fall behind the back, clasp the hands, and then just push the palms away, stretch it out. Again, have a little wriggle through the hips if that feels good. And then bend the knees back in towards the belly. Just hug around the thighs or the shins or the knees and then roll over to one side. And then when you're ready, just push yourself back to a seated position. Take your time, no rush. And then come to that seated position where you started the class. Nice, beautiful. Sit up nice and tall. I'm gonna pretend I'm a real yogi. I am a real yogi. We're all real yogis. Just notice the effects of your practice. Close the eyes or just keep the gaze soft. If you can, slowly bring the hands to heart centre. And then just bow your head down towards your prayer. Remember that you can come back to this place time and time again. 
anytime you want to practice there's lots and lots of yoga videos here on virtual village hall but also if you just want to run for a few sun salutations or a little bit of breath work you know guys you guys know what to do and then with a wholehearted bow wish yourself well wish everybody else well namaste Thank you guys. Thank you for joining today. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, yeah, take that with you for the rest of the week. And I always say that as well, you know, it kind of like it tops you up. And then hopefully when we top ourselves up, then all of our, all of our kind of interaction, our engagements become more joyful. Um, and we hopefully become a little bit better, better, you know, slightly better versions of ourselves or amazingly better versions of ourselves. And it can have that powerful effect for us. And you've built all of that flexibility and strength into the body as well. So that's why yoga works and that's why it's magic. And that's why people have been practicing it for thousands and thousands of years. All right. I'll let you all go. Uh, I'll see you all again next week, um, if not sooner. Namaste, everyone. Take care of yourselves. Cheers. Bye now.